more you can deceive, the better you can be successful. Is that possibility for Christian specific strategies to make to make it without unrighteousness? Can we really create godly multiplication? These are all we are going to be looking into today in this edition of multiplication for Christians. Let's look at it. This is the church in the air. A church without wall and border. Setting men up with God for a glorious turnaround. This is God's favor. It's a blessing. Our God is good and his mercies and just forevermore. Amen. And Pastor Tomowa, and I say you are welcome to today's edition of the Church in the Air. This is a church without walls and borders, setting men up with God for a glorious turnaround. We are super excited to be here again, and we have the confidence that the God Almighty is in this place today and is going to meet you at your point of need. This is what we are looking into today, multiplication for Christians. Creating that godly multiplication in your life. As a believer, we are swamped around with a lot of evil vices to make it. The, the, the pressure is there, the, the competition is intense. There are a lot of deception in the world in, in making it. However, the good news is that there is an enablement to live godly in spite of being successful in this same time. And that is what we are going to be looking into today. The Lord Almighty did it with Abraham. He did it with Isaac. He did it with, with Jacob. He did it also through our Lord Jesus Christ. And we're going to be learning those key things that the Lord revealed through this man, this patriarch of faith and our Lord Jesus Christ, how he created multiplication so that in our life in this 2022, you will be able to successfully expand in your business, in your career, in everything you lay your hand on, yet remain godly. That is our focus. And I pray that you will encounter God in this meeting today in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen. However, as our practice, we are going to start with a prayer. The anointing for faith of the gift of healing and working of miracles upon my life. And in this meeting today, there shall be a manifestation. Almighty God, we meet you at your point of need. I want you to lay claim on the oil in this meeting today that God, as I connect to this meeting, let me encounter you. I want you to turn into to prayer, my friend, and say, God, as I connect to this meeting today, let me encounter you. As I join this meeting, as I connect to this message today, let me encounter you. Open my eyes, specifically ask that God, number one, ask that God cause my eyes of understanding to be open. Let me see treasure from your scripture today. Then number two, ask that God concerning success in life, concerning multiplication, let me know more today. And then ask, I don't know the need that you, you are facing at the moment, that God, in this message, you will encounter God. God will give you your encounter. Do you want a miracle? You want a healing? You want a word from God? Open your mouth and say, Father, speak to me. Open your mouth and say, Father, as I connect to this meeting today, I will encounter you. As I connect to this meeting today, I will hear a word that will change my life from glory to glory. So shall it be in the mighty name of Yeshua Hamashiach, Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen. This is the church in the air, a church without wall and border, setting men up with God for a glorious turnaround. You are welcome today. We are looking at multiplications for believers. Bring that in your life today. You will encounter multiplication in a godly way. You will encounter multiplication in a godly way. Holy Ghost, I turn this meeting over to you today. I thank you, acknowledge you, 
for this meeting thank you for your mercy over this meeting we receive with thanksgiving oh god and we commit this meeting to you lord speak to me lord speak for me and speak through me lord give us a word of peace oh god reach out to my friend connected to this message today grant us insight and revelation to your word today let us encounter treasure from your word today in the mighty name of Yeshua Hamashiach. We come against every opposition. We judge you, Satan. We lead up a standard against you. We overcome you by the blood of Jesus Christ. We declare that the God that may not the heavens and the earth till they, even you perish from this earth and perish from under the seven. We bring every thought into captivity to obey Christ. And I say, God, let your, your will prevail in our midst today. Speak to us, oh God, in Yeshua Hamashiach. Jesus Christ, we are afraid. Amen. Multi Application for believers. Our anchor scripture is our anchor scripture is from Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22. The Bible says, The blessings of the Lord makes one rich, and he adds no sorrow to it. Is it possible as believers to be successful in this world without doing all the evil vices that we have around us? Today, look as if you know if you are going to be successful, you have to dirty your finger hands. The Lord is saying that the blessings of the Lord makes one rich and he had no sorrow to it. So this is exclusive for believer. If you really want to make it in this life without the evil vices in those on the street, then this message is for you today. I pray for somebody today that the mercy of God will prevail for you. God will give you an insight into how to effectively be successful in that work of your hand. And that is your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord told us in 2022 that is there is an allocation of power, that is an empowering available for us in 2022. I therefore pray for you that in this 2022, be empowered, be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth and subdue the earth. That in this 2022, I pray for you that in this 2022, that you are empowered to be everything God has created you to be. You are empowered to have everything God has I marked for you to have. And you are empowered to do everything God has created for you to do in the mighty name of Yeshua, Hamashiach, Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen. So let's look at it. Some very steps that the Spirit of God revealed to us on how to multiply as believers. It doesn't matter the work you are doing. It doesn't matter your skill. Do you want to expand in 2022? There are some key steps that you may want to follow. The Lord revealed this to us some time ago, and as our practice, in the beginning of the year, we always share so that we can remind ourselves, so that we can employ this practice, because they are effective, they, are, they, are, they, are, they, are, they work because they are from God. And I pray that this word work in your life in Jesus' name. Remember, there's a mandate of God upon your life that you be fruitful, you multiply, you fill the earth, you subdue it and have dominion. So that you are not going to be successful in 2022 is not possible. The Lord has I mark that you are successful. So let's look at it. How do we engage this? Remember in the kingdom of Christ, everything operate by faith that means you must consciously engage that which belongs to you for it to manifest in your life so we look at it there's some key steps that the spirit of god has veiled us in our ministry and as a matter of fact is in in our ministry and there are seven of them let's see how much we can take today one of them is to engage god's presence we will look into details of it um, we are talking of business and you are saying God's presence. Yes, it's a very cardinal secret to godly multiplication. Another one is to receive and run with a God's given vision. Don't go with your personal idea, opinion, or what is raining. It must be what God has given you. Another one is to focus and show distraction. Why? you are running that vision distraction will come another one is to engage righteousness we will show you something about the uniqueness of going in righteousness in business 
when we mention business, it doesn't mean that you are into business alone. It may be your career. Whatever is in your hand, the Lord wants to prosper it in this 2022. And that's your portion in the name of Yeshua Hamashiach. Then the other one is to identify your sample. You must know the samples you are working with. Then you must bless your sample. And then they apply your sample to the little first. Praise the Lord. These are all we are going to be looking into today. The first one we are going to look at is engaging God's presence. I know that you are believers. I know that you go to church. People say that, you know, church is church, business is business. No. If you carry God to your business, there is something interesting that will happen to you. We learn this secret from one of the one of the actors in this message and his name is abraham the patriarch of faith in genesis chapter 12 verse chapter 13 14 to 18 the spirit of god began to reveal to us something that abraham saw that promoted his multiplication in his time the lord called his father to leave their their abode oil of shedia terra left out to go to Kenya. However, he didn't get to Kenya. He stopped at Hiram. In that place, they were prosperous, so to say. They lived there and Terah died there. After the death of Terah, the Lord called his son Abraham. It's Canaan I'm sending you. Go to Kenya. This time, Abraham obeyed God and went to Canaan land. When he got to Kenya, he was still moving on to God reveal himself to him at a particular location. Call the plain of mammy oak of mammy or some version call it the terribine three at that location the bible say he dwelt there and built an altar there and worship god however as usual in the world farming came and when the farming came abraham decided to leave that canaan land to go to Egypt, a seemingly greener picture. Everybody, when something is not working, the world system say, just move on. And Abraham did that. As he was stepping into Canaan land, he began to live a compromised life. The first thing was to compromise with his wife, be my sister. And when he got there, there and there, they took the wife from him. But for God's intervention, the wife was restored back to him. And he, he came back, the Bible says Abraham came back to that first location where he encountered God, that terrifying three, that plane of memory. When he stayed in that location, the Lord began to prosper him so much that him and his brother and his nephew, Lot, that was with him, their place was too small for them. Their, their servants were already having some strife because they needed more location abraham called his brother that's this nephew he said okay separate for me however the nephew did not know what abraham has already knew he didn't know that secret the first one we are putting into your hand today for multiplication let's look at the best place around them somewhere close to the also reigning city called sodom and gomorrah he looked for that plain land it was well littered with uh, with grasses, so it moved there. It chose physically. The Bible says that Abraham went back to that location where he encountered God, that plain of mammy, that three by three. Eventually, Lot lost it. Lot moved into Sodom, which is normal with every life. When you begin a life of compromise, you keep going down. And one day they were carried away in, in war. Somebody came back to Abraham to tell him that your son, your, your, your nephew has been taken away. They came to him. Everybody addressed Abraham that the, the, the prophet that lived by the terrifying three. He did not move from that location. What became of Lot? He eventually died in a cave. Now, coming back to what was the secret of Abraham. Abraham saw that in the presence of God, that particular location of the presence of God was where the blessing is. And that is the first secret we are putting into your hand. Go with God in this time. Engage the presence of God in that business. 
in that career, in that academics, whatever it is that you are doing, engage the presence of God because the presence of God is where the treasures are. Treasures are gotten from the presence of God. Abraham saw that. Initially, when things were not working, he wanted to run away, but he learned his lesson and stay at that location. In those chapters, Abraham, they kept telling him he was at the at, at that terrifying trip, at the plain of Mammon, at the oak of Mammon. That was where he dwelt, because that was where he encountered God. In those days, there was a location for the presence of God. However, in this, in, in this time, the presence of God is inside the believer. Now, the presence of God is everywhere. However, the manifested presence of God must be activated by believer. The Bible said darkness covered the earth and gross darkness the people. Now, it is you that must activate the presence of God for it to work in your life. Why the presence of God for godly multiplication? For multiplication in this 2022? Because inside the presence of God are the treasures that you need for success. Believe, uh, unbelievers will not have this. It doesn't matter how much they are making you will have something outstanding if you dwell in the presence of God. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9 to 10, that eyes have not seen nor ear heard, nor has it entered into the heart of men what God has in stock for those that love him. The Bible now said in verse 10, that but this has been revealed to us by the Spirit of God, for the Spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. It is when you engage with the presence of God that you will encounter treasures for that your business. So the first secret to godly multiplication, to multiplications for believers in 2022, is that engage actively and consciously the presence of God in your life. We've been talking about it while we were looking at empowering in this 2022. One of the practices you can engage that we use in our ministry is called the almighty formula. Make it a duty. Don't just brush through the 2022. Engage practicing the presence of God. Our practice, if you want to use our practice, we say 30 minutes every day you must do high praise to God. You oh, I don't have a voice. Just sing the way you are. But let God hear you and don't stop until it is up to 30 minutes. The second one is that we say 30 minutes waiting on the word of God, not just reading it, staying on the word on the, until the word of God come alive to you. The third one is 30 minutes mingling with the Holy Ghost, praying in the spirit. If you do these things in this enter in this 2022, what will happen to you is that your eyes will begin to open to see treasures, things that God can, you can do and can make you successful. I pray for somebody today that you will be prosperous in this 2022. Void of evil vices. You will not do evil things, yet you'll be extremely prosperous in 2022. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. So the very first secret to Christ multiplications for believers is to engage the presence of God. This is so key. Also, when you engage the presence of God, security is guaranteed. The Bible said that dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Some people will lose business. You will not lose business because when you put God first, your security will be guaranteed. I pray for somebody today that in this 2022, you'll be successful in your business. Your security will be guaranteed in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen. Let's go to the second one. The second point is receive and run with a vision. This is very, very important in your success in, in multiplication in 2022. You must get a vision you are working with. You must get a vision you are running with. You must get a vision you are engaging in. Do not just walk because, okay, this thing they say is trending. So I want to go into it. Oh, this thing, that is what my, this person advised me to do. No, when you are engaging the presence of God, God will show you where else. He said, you will hear a word from your behind saying, this is the way God walking in. When you engage in the presence of God, God will show you this is how to do. When, make sure you receive a vision for 2022. Do not walk just like that. Do not just do 
Yes, even if you see your career is a business you have been on, don't just do it. God, what are you saying concerning this business this year? We, I don't know. Oh, we got a vision before. Ask God again. As you spend time in the presence of God, that God, what do you say? That we, what is, what is your vision for my career, for my business, for my, for my academics, for whatever you are doing in this 2022? This, this particular secret of multiplication was taken from one, another of the patriarchs of faith, which is the life of Isaac. In Genesis chapter 20, the Lord gave details about this. Isaac's vision is that Isaac, after his father has gone, the Bible says also there was another family in his life in this time. So Isaac has one of his father's friends called King Abimelech. He, want, he, went, he wanted to go to him for counsel because Isaac wanted to go to Egypt again. You know, everybody, there will always be time that things look tough. And you want to be like, can I quit? Can I continue? Isaac wanted to quit and go to a seemingly green pasture. However, the Lord appeared to Isaac and said, do not go down to Egypt. Dwell in the land that I will tell you. Dwell in Gerard. And in this land, I will bless you. And I will give it to your descendants. For the sake of my son, uh, your father, Abraham, that my friend that I, that I promised him. The Lord gave Isaac a vision. The Bible says also in that chapter that Isaac obeyed that vision and Isaac dwell in Gerard. Another very important thing that happened to Isaac also is that the Bible says Isaac engaged machinery. He gets more, more servants, he got more camel to work for. So one of the ve another very important secret to success as in a godly way that you must roll with in 2022 is that number one, you must get a vision from God. Don't just run because this is your idea. Turn it to God and let it be God that told you. Get a word that back it. What is the scripture backing it? When you receive it, then obey the scripture vision and begin to work on it it doesn't matter even if you don't have everything you need start to work on that vision and then very importantly still on this second point is that work on the vision with expansion mindset run with this vision work with this vision because inside the vision that is born of god are treasure leading for a beef Opinions and something trading may look like you, you can make it very fast. But however, the one that is born of God, we not only endure, there are hidden treasure in it. And, it. and as you begin to run with that vision, you commit God. The Lord says the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. The world and, and all that dwells therein. The Bible says the silver is mine and the gold is mine, says the Lord of hosts. So when you receive the vision from God and you pursue this vision, you make God commit. You commit God into it. I want you to go with God in this 2022. Don't run that career alone. Don't run that academics alone. Don't run that project alone. Don't run that business alone. Don't run that ministry alone. Go with God. Receive God's mandate and run with God's mandate, not your opinion. This is so easy to miss. You know, I just felt that this will work. Oh, I saw someone did it, so I believe it will work for me. No, is it what God is telling you to do? When you get what God is telling you to do, then begin to work on it. I pray for somebody today. As you begin to engage vision for 2022, and as you begin to run with it, God will be committed to you, and the hand of God will work for you. Also on that scripture, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9 to 10, that eyes have not seen nor ear or head, nor has any time to the heart of men what God has in stock for those that love him. And that the Spirit of God is the one that reveals it because it searches the deep thing. As you begin to engage the presence of God, deep things are revealed to you. I pray for somebody today that you encounter the presence of God in your life, in this your business, in your ministry, that you prosper indeed in the mighty name of Yeshua, Hamashiach, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's go to the third point. 
Success is guaranteed for you in 2022. In that work of your hands, you are prospering. It doesn't matter what you are doing. As long as you are a believer and you have committed it into God's hand as we are talking about it, God will tell you insight, deeper things you don't know that is possible in that business. And you will do it as you do it. You commit God and you will prosper. Let's look at the third point. Also a secret from Isaac. This point is very important in your pursuit of your goal in 2022. It is focus and shun distractions. Focus and shun distraction. We just quickly take a break right now and we'll be right back. Shalom. Okay, welcome back. That's our life coaching. In case you are interested, you want to know more, you can send us an email and info at ear.church and it will, you, you'll get details more on that. So we are talking about the third point, focus and shun distractions. Focus and shun distraction. This is very key if you are working on godly vision. There will be an opposition. Opposition will come. The first one we look at, as I said it earlier, is to engage your vision with a, an expansion mindset. In 2022, don't do that soul man business. There are many opportunities to expand your business today. Don't do just a business that can only feed your mouth. Don't do a business that can only reach out to one person. What, how can you expand that business? If you spend time in the presence of God, God will show you. That was the secret of Isaac. He got more helps. He got a lot of servants. He got camel. He engaged machinery of his time. Now, online is a great place to assess virtual assistants. Engage all the applications, all the tools that are available for you so that you can expand your business. It is very important in engaging multiplication in 2022. And I pray for you that you will multiply indeed in the name of Yeshua. Hamashiach, Jesus Christ. Amen. The second thing on this point is that distractions will come. If you are running something right, distraction will come. If you are doing something really good, distraction will come. Now, the thing is, it's not enough that distraction come. It is what are you going to do about the distraction? They will come. Distraction will come. It could come from your loved ones. Like Isaac, the, the, as, as the servant of Isaac, they were digging well. The Philistine, they were blocking him. He will, go, he will leave that place for them, go and dig another way because they need the water for the pasture. They will block it. They will fight. Now, to top the problem, his father figure, the only father figure he has, that's his, the friend of his father, Abimelech. He called him and said, leave us, move away from us. You are too big for us. Envy will come. People that are close to you will become envious of you. And they will do everything to want to stop you. It is no more if you are carrying the, doing the will of God and you are doing that godly multiplication. Now, what, did, what will you do? And that is another very important point for your multiplication in 2022. Isaac did not dwell on that. Now, it is not easy and natural to just show on, Somebody is opposing you vehemently and you just pretend as, as if it's not touching you. No, you can't pretend. The pains are real. The oppositions are real. So you must consciously deal with it. Our Lord taught that one of those days in one of our books, the Spirit of God taught us 
the title understanding the works of darkness the spirit of god taught us that strife is a setup against you so you must understand when the enemy come and gang up against you they are targeting how to steal the enemy is targeting to steal from you so you don't engage in it and one of the things you do is to consciously forgive the 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 commandment to forgive forgiveness is not an appeal it is a commandment from god mark eleven twenty four. 24 say when you stand praying and you remember you have a hot oath against someone then stop your prayer and go and set to first before you continue so you must consciously forgive so that you don't give room for that distraction in your business distraction will come through anybody it can come through your family through your close friend through your business partner through the government wherever they come from you must consciously let go now it is not natural to forgive that is why you must engage the will of a man to forgive the spirit of god told us one day that the word of god is not just the bible the spirit of god told us one day that the ability of good is of god the ability of evil is of darkness however the will to make a choice is of man when a man make a choice the corresponding ability backs him now man will be responsible for the choices he made today and on the day of judgment when you make a choice that i choose to forgive him i choose to forgive her then the ability backs you let me read it one more time the ability of good is of god any good thing you see the bible says every good and perfect gift come from the lord from the god of light with whom there's no variableness nor shadow of thorny then the ability of evil is of darkness every bad thing you see I will show him, I will show her, it's of darkness. However, the will to make a choice is of man. When a man make a choice, that corresponding ability backs him. Now, man will be responsible for the choices he made today and on the day of judgment. When you say that I choose to forgive him, the ability to forgive him comes. When you say I choose to forgive her, the ability to forgive. You don't forgive because the person, what he did is not hurting, no. It could be very painful. You don't forgive because the person has even repented. No, even if the person is not remorseful, you have to forgive for your own security. Then you don't forgive because, uh, yeah, you forgive because God said forgive. Number one, you forgive because it's a commandment. Number two, you forgive because if you don't forgive, you are opening the door for the devil to steal from you number three if you don't forgive devil devil will stand on your shoulder and use you as part-time witch you don't want all of those in your business in 2022 so whenever those opposition comes your way you just face it and say i choose to forgive you in jesus name and move forward as you say it with your mouth the ability backs you deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 15 and 19 the spirit got through the a prophet moses say I place before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Let heaven and earth bear record against you that I've placed before you life and death. Choose life and you may live. When you say I choose to forgive, the corresponding ability back you. This is very important in your success in 2022. When those opposition comes in your career, when those opposition comes in your business, when those op opposition come in your ministry, in the works of your hand, in your academics, stand immediately and say, I choose to forgive. That was what happened to Isaac. The Bible said, and God bless Isaac and, and remain focused on that vision. Don't let the devil want to take that vision from you. Don't let the devil take it from you. If you stay on this key point in 2022, you will excel. And my prayer is that you will excel indeed in the name of yeshua hamashiach we will not be able to take on the other ones we still have four more to go we hope that by the grace of god we will look into that next time we come now i want us to pray the lord told us in 2022 that there is an allocation of power for a change of story and the lord gave us a scripture that i can do all things through christ that endure a moment through christ that strengthens me and it's pleasing the lord that we should look into how to be successful in 2022 you can do it my friend it doesn't matter your vocation it does it doesn't matter your job 
you can do it you can do it you're going to pray today that god help me to be successful yes there are ways that many people are making it in the streets i don't want to be like that i want to be successful i want to do i want to prosper in this 2022 Rakaboska, I want you to pray with me one minute. I want to say that prayer. Let me, let's just look at that. Um, let's look at the let's look at the three. This the seven point that we raised earlier. Praise the Lord. I want you to pray this prayer with me. That in my business in 2022, I will be successful. It is possible for believers to be successful in any vocation that you have in without engaging in the evil vices that is in the world today. It is a possibility. However, there are exclusive secrets that God has reserved for only believers. And one of them is that believers must carry God's presence with him. Because inside God's presence is your security. Inside God's presence is the revelation of treasures that we are make you outstanding in your business. Another one is that as a believer, you must have a vision. You must run in with a vision. Don't just do that thing that is trending. Don't just do that thing that, okay, that is what everybody is doing. Is that what God asks you to do in 2022? Is that the, the word of God for you in 2022? And then we look at this also that not only is it that you have the vision, when distraction come, you must learn to stay focused on that vision. We say that you should work in your vision today with mindset of expansion. Engage machineries. Engage virtual assistants today. We have a lot of them. Don't do that thing solely by yourself. Engage a lot of support so that expansion can be your portion. I pray for you that in 2022, you will expand. In 2022, you will multiply. In 2022, in that your business, you will feel the earth in the name of Yeshua, Hamashiach, Jesus Christ. Amen. So we're going to pray, my friend. I want you to open your mouth and say, God, help me. Help me to be able to choose the presence of God. Open your mouth and say, God, I choose the presence of God. It is a conscious effort. The presence of God is everywhere. However, the, the manifest the manifested presence is not everywhere. It must be consciously activated. That in my in my work, in my business, in my career, I choose the presence of God. I want you to also pray today that God, I choose your will in this place. So pray that God, I wait until God, give me the vision that I'm running with. And if God has given you, I want you to pray that I choose to run with this vision in this 2022. I want you to pray that God, any opposition that comes my way, if some has started coming, that I choose to forgive. I choose to forgive. I choose to focus on my vision. And that is your portion today. Open your mouth and begin to pray that Father, let pray today. Help me, Lord. Help me in this business. Help me in this career. I commit my business before you today. Let me prosper in this business. Let me prosper in this career. Let me prosper in this. So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for your business. I pray for your vocation. I pray for your career. That in this 2022, expand, multiply in the mighty name of Yeshua, Hamashiach, Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen. The Spirit of God told us that there's empowering in 2022. You are empowered to be, you are empowered to have, and you are empowered to do everything God has created for you. That is your portion in the mighty name of Yeshua, Hamashiach. I also pray for you today, my dear friend. I also pray for you today if you are sick in your body. 
anybody right there that you are sick in your body and you want god to heal you put your hand in that location and let me pray with you the anointing for faith of gift of healing and working of miracles is upon me i decree today that be healed of that oppression be healed of that sickness be healed of that oppression somebody just being released from that oppression right now i say be free from that oppression in the mighty name of jesus christ concerning your business i want you to declare with me that i'm fruitful I multiply, I fill the earth, I subdue, and I have dominion. I want you to say it one more time that I'm fruitful. I multiply, I fill the earth, I subdue, and I have dominion. That is your portion in the mighty name of Yeshua, Hamashiach, Jesus Christ. Amen. Till we meet again. And Pastor Tomawa, I decree and declare that Jesus Christ, Yeshua, Hamashiach is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen and amen. Thank you, y'all, and God bless you. Shalom. This is the Church in the Air, a church without wall and border, setting men up with God for a glorious turnaround.